Hey everyone, Tiger Tanaka here, and welcome back to another part of Pokemon Platinum. Last part, we explored Celaceon Town, and this part, we're gonna be continuing on to Route 210. Now, you can just use your bike in fourth gear to slide right up this sand slope, but I'm gonna be exploring a little bit this way. Holy crap, another Chansey! Getting a bit too lucky here with these here. <laughs> so yay, more crap ton of experience. You motherfucker. Uh, well, at least I'm doing more damage than you're healing. Maybe I'll get a crit. Wow, I actually got a crit. Very conveniently timed. Especially since these ranchers are gonna have fire types, if I remember right. Uh, oh right, Ivy's underleveled. Great. My Pokemon toughened up while working on the ranch. I'm right proud of them. I'm from the south. Which is ironic because Sinnoh is supposed to be one of the northern regions. I'm gonna have to switch here. These ranchers have Ponyta. A lot of Ponyta. Got to see the Pokemon capsules in action there. Or Pokeball capsules. And Stomp. You would think a Stomp from Ponyta would hurt like hell since its hooves are supposed to be harder than Diamond. Maybe that's its evolved form, I don't remember. And it lived somehow, okay. Man, I remember back in first gen when Fire Spin was actually a good move. Hate it so that your opponent couldn't move at all. Until it was freed. It could be switched out unlike the newer games, but it couldn't move at all. So you could really fuck over your opponent like that, and I forgot these two were up here. Yeah, I just got... Or I just, uh, got out of a really annoying recording session. This is February 25th, so... Obviously, this is gonna be a long ways afterward, but... This was... The recording of Luigi's War... Or Super Luigi World Luigi's Quest. Yeah. So I don't know how long this is going to be until this is uploaded, but I know it's going to be a couple of weeks after that, and this is... Wow, that was a monkey. I got attracted by the Clefairy and paralyzed by the Pikachu. And it uses Minimize. Great. This is a... This is going to be a great battle. And follow me, that would have been more useful if Pikachu was alive! Because that would make it so that only Clefairy could be hit. Okay, and since Stomp does twice the damage on a Pokemon that's used Minimize, that'll easily KO. Thankfully. Yeah, I really hope Luigi's World perks up a little in difficult- or... Like, I hope it tones down to difficulty, because it's just ridiculous on how difficult that hack is. Okay. Hey, check this out. Look at the luster on my Pokemon's fur. Yeah, I wanted that recording session to be my little week in review kind of thing. But the difficulty and the frustration and that hack kind of ruined that plan, so I guess I'll do it here. Man, Static just hates me right now. But yeah, I was looking up uh, Yosh Recruit stuff, and ugh, I'm really, really getting annoyed by them. I still say the Recruits is a good idea, but they need to upload something other than FPSs. It's really aggravating. 
like, oh, we need variety on this channel, so let's just upload nothing but Call of Duty and Battlefield. <laughs> You're kind of contradicting yourself. Oh, and Minecraft. Can't forget about Minecraft. It's like you have all these people uploading such unique videos. Then all you care about is Call of Duty, Battlefield, and Minecraft. Minecraft I don't mind as much, but still. It's still like a really overdone game. And I can't see what level ID is because of her. Okay. So we can go ahead and heal up. And we can actually take off its experience here now that it's finally caught up with everyone else. Go ahead and put stereo hearts in the front, and let's put Napoleon in the front, because there's another double battle coming up, and it's going to be useful. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I like the idea of Yosh recruits, it's just that they piss me off that they don't upload anything but FPSs. And they already have their peaks of, picks of the week figured out already. For this week, so... <laughs> Yeah, it's like, can you at least give people a chance to know why they weren't accepted? Oh, um, by the way, level 24 Rapidash, not fucking possible. Ponyta doesn't evolve until level 40, so yeah. And fucking cr Really? Fuck you! I'm already pissed off. I don't need to be pissed off anymore. Okay, I guess I'm going out to Charlie because it's the only thing that can take a hit from these things. I find it funny that Charlie's faster than its evolved form. And I was hoping you would randomly attack Charlie because it has flash fire. And yay, its accuracy went down. Not that it really matters. Yeah, it's like, if you're not gonna upload their videos to the channel, at least tell them why they weren't accepted. That's what's pissing me off the most. It's like, I haven't even heard back if they've declined my video yet. Like, I got one decline, okay, I tried again. Still haven't heard back from them two weeks from now, or two weeks later. So, at least tell them if their video got accepted or not, instead of just leaving them in the dark until you say, oh, we picked these people for the week. It's like, great. I know you get a lot of submissions, but don't be... Like, <laughs> it's hard to explain it without sounding like a troll. But, I don't know. Like, give people a chance to have unique videos before you brush them off. Like, if you're looking for stuff other than Call of Duty, Battlefield, and Minecraft, then upload something that isn't Call of Duty, Battlefield, or Minecraft. Simple. But no, apparently they just can't get that through their heads. Like, how come we're only getting these videos because they're the only videos you're wanting to upload? And more fucking Pikachu! I fucking hate Pikachu, you. Ugh. And it paralyzed me! Man, every electric type has paralyzed me in this video. It's really pissing me off. Like I said, it doesn't help that I just got back from a really irritating recording session. But I'm trying to record as many videos as I can now that I'm going to be uploading seven videos a week. Or at least that's the plan. So I gotta step up my recording game a bit now. Let's see if I have any cherry berries here. 
I have one. Great, so that means I'm gonna have to buy some more paralysis heals when I get a chance. Uh, if you go up here, though, this guy is a pretty useful TM. He gives you Roost, which is the flying type equivalent to Recover. However, if you use Roost, then the flying type part of your typing is taken away and is replaced by Normal, I think? No. No, it just gets rid of the flying type of your Pokémon. If it's only Pure Flying, which doesn't exist until 5th gen, and even then you can't even learn Roost, then I think it's replaced with normal type. And Magby! Lots of baby Pokemon here! Man, I hope Stereo Hearts evolve soon! And man, this is gonna suck. And smokescreen! Great! This game's just trying to piss me off at this point, isn't it? Come on... I was hoping for a crit. But no, since when have I ever been that lucky? Okay, Magby's down, thankfully. Now I can switch out of here since Stereo Heart's gonna level up. Wow, you fucking copycat! Let's go with Frieza. I don't know why, I just feel like going up to Frieza. What else has happened lately? Yeah, I've been... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. And it's not like I was gonna do anything else, so thank you. I don't know how you guys feel about me talking about my girlfriend, because I know I talk about her a lot. That's because she means a lot to me. But... Yeah, I've been doing a lot of stuff for her lately, and YES, Togepi's evolving! I was really hoping it would do that soon, thank you! Stereo Hearts is now a Togetic. So now I can learn a flying type move that we're gonna get later on. Let's see what its stats are like now. Oh man, its attack power just dropped like a rock. Hopefully we can get a special attack for it soon. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about this place. Cafe Cabin. How are you doing? What you have? And of course all we ever have is Moo Moo Milk. 500 a bottle. Now something they added in Platinum is that you can buy a dozen, which makes it a lot more convenient to do. And this is actually a pretty money efficient way for healing items. A Moo Moo Milk heals 100 HP, and they're 500 each, so twice as good as the Hyper Potion for like 80% of the price. So that's three dozen Moo Moo Milks, I'm gonna get two more. Because this is a really, really good way to save money. Of course, in Diamond and Pearl, you would have to do this one at a time. So it sucks for you. But yeah, she's been going through some shit lately about school and everything, and... At the time of recording this, I haven't said anything to her about it, but I'm actually gonna try and, uh... Yeah, you can battle here, too. Uh, like, she's got a paper to do in her history class, but she doesn't have internet access, so she can't really do it, and her teacher doesn't seem to understand that. So, I am planning on doing that for her. I know, that's cheating. It's wrong. It's putting more work on myself. Blah, 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 blah. 
But I don't want to see her struggle through all this shit. I've already seen her struggle through enough with other stuff that I don't want to get into. I'm tired of just sitting in the background and watching her go through it all. So if I'm going to take one thing off of her mind, it's going to be something school related because that's about all I can do. So, I... <laughs> I just really want to help her out. I don't care how hard it is, I just don't want to see her struggle anymore. I just can't stand to see her unhappy. And hello, Munchlax! Oh, uh, what else? Stockpile, great! At least it's not as spammable as other moves like Cosmic Power, but man, I really need a fighting type! Um. Damn it. Unfortunately, Napoleon's about the best thing I have to take this thing out at the moment. Oh man. Hope it doesn't have Spit Up or Swallow or anything like that. And speaking of those moves, what was Game Freak thinking when they made those move names? Those aren't innuendos at all. And lowering a Munchlax's speed, that does so much when, it had, when it's like tied with the lowest base speed out of all Pokemon. I don't remember what it's tied with, but I know it's tied with something. Okay, could you actually attack me or something? This is getting boring. And that Quick Claw was totally helpful. Yeah, that did so much. Come on, Munchlax! At least use a stab move or something like Tackle. I don't know if that experience was worth the amount of time that was put into that. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk to your buddy here. Okay. Not that I really care. Heracross! Oh man. Memories of my heart gold walkthrough about how long it took you to learn fucking Megahorn right after it stopped being useful. I'll never forgive you for that. Same thing with Brick Break and Whitney's Gym. Learned it right after it would have been useful. Let's see how much Pet does since it's times four week. Way more than Bubble Beam! I don't know if that crit mattered, but it's dead now. That's all that matters. Fernando! Weird name. Go ahead and put Ivy back in front then, I guess. I just realized we don't have an item on it anymore. Let's see. Anything I can give it? Oh! We already had the fucking Sooth Bell! Wow! I feel stupid. Uh, I should probably sell some of that stuff, and I guess we don't really have anything to give Ivy at the moment. Oh yeah, there's Psyduck right outside of this place. We can't really do anything about that yet, but we'll get into it later. And this video's been going on for just under 20 minutes, so I guess we'll end this off here. So next time on Pokemon Platinum, we'll be going east, and hopefully reach the next town. See you guys then.